Hi guys. Today we're going to be talking about math lesson 14-2. So in lesson 14-2, we're going to be talking about halves. Halves are splitting up something into two equal parts. Two equal parts. So if I have this card, you can see it's a rectangle. How could I evenly split this card up into equal parts? Two equal parts. Well, the easiest way to do that would be to fold it so that one end is over the other end like this. And then I could take a scissors. I could take a scissors and I could cut it out. And then if you notice, I could lay that's an oxide. I could lay one on top of the other and they would cover each other up perfectly. That would be two equal halves. One is not bigger than the other one. So that would be one example of um, breaking something up into halves. So when you do your halves on your worksheet, it's going to have you try to count the squares, or at least that's what I would do if I were you. I would count the squares to see if the number of squares is equal on both sides. So if you look at page 589 and point to that first half. So the directions say, Zach has four sheets of construction paper. He cuts each shape into two pieces. Which sheets of paper did Zach cut in half? So you have to decide which are cut into equal parts. So the first one you can see there are six boxes on the left of that dotted line and there are six on the right of the dotted line. So that is cut into equal parts, right? If you shared something with a friend and some your friend got six and you got six, that would be equal. So that would be halves, okay, equal halves. Then the green box, so everyone point to that green box at the top of page 589. You can see that dashed line. If I counted the boxes, I could, I would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the left of that dotted line and only one, two, three on the right of the dotted line. If it helps you, what I did with my paper is, it's kind of hard to see, but I drew those lines in. I drew the lines in so that you could count the boxes more easily. So that green one is not broken up in two halves. Then it says the yellow box. Let's look at the yellow. If I folded that on top of each other, would it line up? Well, there's four boxes on the top and four boxes on the bottom that are both full. And then on the top of the line, there are four halves and there are four halves below. So you can see that there are the equal number of boxes, even though that you don't count the boxes perfectly. That makes it a little tricky. Um, and then the last one's really, really tricky. So my suggestion for this one is to really think about it. If I had a shape like a rectangle, I'll use my card again. Um, if I have a shape like this and I drew a dotted line and I will, just like they did in that blue box, I'll draw a dotted line and then I'm going to cut on that dotted line. If I took that shape, this, these two shapes, and I laid them one on top of the other, would they, would they be even? And look at, they lay exactly one on top of the other. So that tells you that these are two equal parts. So the blue box is also equal. So the pinkish reddish box and the blue box are halves, broken up into halves, perfect. And then the green and the yellow, or the green box is not, and the yellow is also broken up into halves. So if you read through the rest of the paper, it says equal shares are the exact same size. If there are two equal shares, each share is half of the rectangle. The red rectangle is cut into two halves. The two halves make one whole. These pieces are the same size. There are two equal shares. The green box, these pieces are not the same size. The green rectangle is not cut into equal shares. It is not cut into halves. And the yellow rectangle is cut into two equal shares. The blue rectangle is cut into two equal squares. So you can read through that paper um, on your own if that helps you. So on the next page, you are deciding if things are halves or not halves. Like I said, if it helps you find that shape and try to take a little piece of paper and try to cut it as best as you can. 
Okay. Um, count those boxes if that strategy helps you. A lot of us are just going to be able to know by looking at that shape to see, oh, of course that's cut in half. If I had a pizza that was round and there was a line right through the center, those are equal because the, the top is the same as the bottom. So hopefully that helps you with um, lesson 14 too. On Wednesday, I won't have a video for Wednesday. That's a check your progress day. I want you to really try to see how well you do. And if you need help, that's fine. But try to do as best as you can on your check your progress without asking for help. Okay, see how you do. If you get stuck, go ahead and ask your teacher for help. And um, yeah, just do your best. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I will talk to you later.